Okay guys, let's see. And in this video, I'm going to power my laptop from this system setup of 48 AH battery and a 500 watt inverter system. Yeah, as you can see, my laptop. I'm gonna turn it on, and as you can see, the battery is dead, so I cannot turn on my laptop. So I'm gonna power my laptop from this system. As you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to plug in my laptop. I'm going I'm going to go ahead now and I'm gonna turn on. So as I turned on, the inverter is on as you can hear, and as you can see, I'm getting power in my computer. I'm gonna turn on my computer now and my computer is charging so I'm pouring my computer from that battery there and this is the bomb guys when you're talking about having external power when the electricity is out this is one way of doing it and this is something that I'll be working on. So guys, I'm getting my laptop charged. The second thing that I will be powering on the system is that monitor there. I will be powering that monitor. Yeah, but I'm going to give my computer like a, a few minutes charge to ensure that the battery can last and then I'll be hooking up the external monitor off of this system one of the thing that I would want to do is to hook up that washing machine over there to this system yeah I really want to do that but the only thing why I'm not gonna do it is because I'm I'm I don't know how much watt the washing machine is pushing I have no knowledge whatsoever so I'm not going to plug it up to the system yeah but if I have to plug it up I really want to but I'm not gonna just take the risk just like that yeah I really want to but I would have to do a background check uh, of the wattage of the washing machine and I will be running another test if possible with the washing machine the reason why I don't want to plug it up is because this inverter only push 1000 watt 500 watt continuously and I wouldn't want to plug up a washing machine that is 1500 watt yeah so I'm not gonna plug it up yeah so I just plugged up the monitor the external monitor and then what i'm gonna do now as you can see my computer is on what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna turn off i'm gonna turn off the the inverter and then i'm gonna power the external monitor on the system What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hook up and one of those extension cards to this system when I hook up my solar panels and then I'm gonna be pouring a lot of stuff, yeah? So here we are. Let's see if we get any juice. Yes, I can see the power light is on. So this external monitor is on. And my laptop is here. I'm pouring the external monitor here from this system that I have set up so guys I just want you guys to subscribe to my youtube channel I will be doing some more videos I'll be installing my two solar panels along with a battery system 
I'll be upgrading my solar charge controller sometime in the future. Yeah, I live in the Caribbean and we normally get a lot of sun. So you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Lens. Okay guys, so another tip. When you want to take apart your solar panel system, it's very important to follow the instruction. There are different instructions in which cables to remove first. You will find those information in the manual. Yeah, and especially when you're removing the clamps from the battery, it's very important to remove them. And you don't want to be sparking because by doing this, I can be sparking, you know, the the terminals and you want to ensure that you don't touch them when removing yeah or trust me you will be causing a lot of fireworks a lot of drama so i'll recommend that you do that and ensure that these two terminals don't touch yeah it's good to be safe yeah stay safe subscribe